Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a new series coming from cgcookie.com for my cookie. In this series, I have the pleasure to work on a complete project and this time we'll create a model design chair and we'll cover the entire workflow. So we'll model the, uh, the chair starting with polymodeling using modifiers and a lot of tips to understand how to speed up the modeling. Then we'll cover the UV preparation with standard UV maps and uh, UV unwrapper. Then we'll see how to prepare some texture and how to use the textures we have. And we'll prepare the, um, the shaders and the lighting using Mentor Ray because the final render will be done with Mentor Ray. Uh, we'll prepare the HDR illumination and some basic studio lighting. Uh, the materials will be done using the Arc and Design shader. And we'll see also how to split the, uh, the rendering in some layers and how to use the state set to add some additional passes. And the final composition and the final look development and the image grading will be done in Fusion. So uh, the final result we are trying to achieve is uh, like this image. You see that we have a really nice look. The model is not so complex, but we'll see how to model something like that, how to set up the scene. Uh, if we go to check, you see that that's the, our scene and we will work on this model. Uh, let's go in the isolation. You see that this one is um, a really uh, simple model and we'll create a very part um, with different polymodeling tools. So you see that there we have our structure. So uh, as you can see, we'll start with a really uh, simple um, let's go for example in the isolation for this one. You see that there we start just with a line, then we go with some extrusion, then we have uh, the uh, modeling that goes um, forward and you see that step by step we go to change something, then we will work on for example also the UV mapping and we'll cover how to solve UV mapping using standard uh, UV modifier, but we'll see also how to work on the uh, unwrapper. And then we'll talk about the texturing tool and we'll model all these pieces. Let's go inside. You see that we have also the environment and this environment will be used to simulate uh, the uh, studio lighting. And we have also more complex model as the uh, leader cushion there and uh, <clears throat> sorry you see that we uh, are starting with a really simple mesh uh, uh, that was extracted by the wood part and then we we'll work with modifier to create the structure and to create the tails and add the tails to the to the model to obtain the final one and when the final model will be achieved we'll work on a, a simple setup to simulate the studio lighting uh, with, uh, let's go in the layers. So we see also how to manage a scene covering the uh, lighting and the scene management. You see that we have um, a lighting made with HDR map for reflection and partly for the lighting. And we have just two light to cover the studio lighting setup and we have a simple environment. All the materials are done using uh, uh, the arc and design. So we'll see how to create simple material as the wood material, the leather material and the metal material uh, from scratch. So you see that we'll use the arc and design to do uh, some stuff. Uh, we'll see also how to create some texture as the wood texture, starting from um, a CG texture uh, downloaded by the website and then we'll see how to adjust this map to be used on the um, rapid UVs uh, we just created for the wood parts. Uh, the rendering will be uh, created using Mentor Ray but we'll use also the render elements and we'll see also how to use the state set to create two different uh, render passes with a beauty render with all these layers and the ambient occlusion to uh, cover then the compositing. The various paths will be rendered and then we'll cover the compositing staff to create the final look. 
And inside Fusion, we create the final image, starting with a rendering that will be our rough render with a nice quality but with a different look. And then you see that we have the different passes to simulate depth of field and other photographic effects. And step by step, with a uh, um, simple but huge compositing uh, process, you see with some simulation for the depth of field, uh, lighting adjustment and other really interesting stuff used to create the final compositing and the final look development will obtain our final image. So the series will be really interesting because we'll approach to a simple project but we'll cover the entire workflow since modeling to uh, the final uh, look and the final grade of our render done with the compositing and all the passes. Let's start the project. 